To the relief of many, he's in for a second term. But the smiles could soon be replaced by headaches, as Obama's problems in the Middle East come to a head. The Obama administration will have to decide on uh, how it wants to deal with a series of important Middle Eastern questions, beginning with the Iranian nuclear and moving through the Syrian civil war, Islamist ascendancy in Egypt and elsewhere, and of course the Palestinian question. Most Muslims welcomed his win, seeing him as more moderate than Mitt Romney. But in Israel, his victory received a tepid greeting. More than half the people here would have preferred a Republican in the White House. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu never made a secret of who he backed, welcoming Romney to Jerusalem during the election campaign and appearing in Republican campaign ads. There are some personality issues that have existed between President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu. I think that now some of that will be uh, equalized a little bit because it is clear that Obama is in for another four years. So I think Prime Minister Netanyahu is going to have to readjust and recalibrate uh, you know, some of his positions. One of the most pressing issues for Obama to address is Tehran's nuclear program and the heated standoff between Israel and Iran. 2013 is widely predicted to be the year when Tehran will cross a red line set by Jerusalem and possibly test American patience, patience that is already running thin following Netanyahu's outburst in September. The world tells Israel, wait, there's still time. And I say, wait for what? Wait until when? Those in the international community who refuse to put red lines before Iran don't have a moral right to place a red light before Israel. Another foreign policy issue requiring urgent attention is Syria. Whereas once the U.S. firmly supported the opposition, it's since grown suspicious of divisions in the movement and its more radical elements, fearing they may one day turn their weapons on the U.S. There needs to be an opposition leadership structure that is dedicated to representing and protecting all Syrians. There are disturbing reports of extremists going into Syria uh, and attempting to uh, take over what has been a legitimate revolution against an oppressive regime. There is now growing concern that the United States could soon find itself embroiled in yet another Middle East conflict. This region has changed drastically since President Obama first came to power in 2008. Over the next four years, between staving off an Israeli strike on Iran and containing a deadly civil war in Syria, he certainly has his work cut out for him. Paulus Tel Aviv.